Okay, today I want to show you how you can create your own disk images like a D64 image where you can put your favorite games or software uh, into and that's kind of easy. And the other thing I want to show you today is how you could um, then play these disk images on your SD to IEC on your original C64 and how you can copy the disk image from your SD to IC to a real floppy disk. So let's begin and have fun. So here are two programs I already installed on my Windows PC. The first one is the V1541 commander and the other one is the disk imagery uh, 64. I normally use the commander. It's nice. So and I think it's easy to use therefore i use this one but the other one it's nearly the same yeah you can use both of them i'll share you the links for both programs in the video description below you can check this out okay the first thing we want to do is to open an already existing disk image which you maybe have downloaded from the internet somewhere so you go to file open then you click on the folder you want to open and here we start with the first disk image with commando. You have here the possibility to choose how many tracks you want to use or are used in this disk image. I leave that in the standard options with the 35 tracks. And here you see you already have the disk image and what we want to do next is that we open a new disk image also with 30 with 35 tracks and here you see we have another empty disk so you can here give a name for the disk And an idea. Maybe it's your first disk, side A, for example. So that's it. And the only thing you have to do right now is that you click on the program you want to copy. If you want to copy more programs, you have to uh, press down the control key on your Windows keyboard and click with the mouse. So you can uh, select both or more files drag and drop that to the right side here to your new disk image and that's it. What you can also do is that you can rename it for example. Okay, so let's open the next disk image. Galencia. It's a really nice game. And here now we get the message that the BAM of this disk is not valid. Could be that there are some track loaders or some boot sectors for C128. But we nevertheless want to open it. And here I only want to use the Galencia PAL version because I'm here in Germany, in Europe, and uh, I want to play it on my PAL machine. So I take this one and drag it to my new disk image. Okay, now I can close it again and open another one. Maybe Gianna Sisters. I'll do the same, copy all the files, and drag it in my new disk image. Close that also again. And now what I want to do is that I directly copy the PRG file directly into my disk image. That's also possible, no problem. So, and that's it. 
um, now you have your own created disk image the only thing you need to do right now or at last is that you save this and say Dr. 64 collection one yes okay and that's it now you have your C64 D64 disk image here on your Windows PC so then I think we can try if we can open our WinWise and and try to load the game disk image or insert disk image collection one load and list yes and here it is great so let's try to start one or to load one okay it takes a while i will forward that and we will be back if it's already loaded so let's type in run and let's see if it works okay looks good spacebar spacebar again sorry i have no joystick so i cannot test it but it seems that it works next thing we want to do is that we copy that image file on our sd card and try it in our original c64 so let's see okay then let's start i've copied my d64 image which i created on my pc onto this sd card here and now let's plug this in our SD to IEC. So now let's load our image. Press F5. I have here Jiffy DOS F5 and FB for my file browser. Let's load that. I have stored the new disk image on my favorites folder. I press F7 to go directly down to the image you see here okay what we want to start we try to load the Galencia and let's see take my joystick okay it's running nice Okay, at first we take a new disk and format it. We do it the old school way. No, nope. mine, because that's mine. Let's start. It's 
ready. Now let's open the directory. Okay, disk name is okay. Good, then let's load our copy program. DRA copy, I would use here, it's very simple and it's, yeah, it, it works. So, okay, now I'll take the shortcut from Jiffy DOS to load the program. FB for my file browser. Now, here in tools, I have draw copy 1.0, you see 64. So here we see our commands. On the left side, we see our drive number 8. And below is the drive number 9, that's already correct. So here we are actually in drive number 8, which is our SD drive. I want to go back one directory or upwards, so I have to press insert or delete. Once more, I have saved my collection, my uh, disk image under favorites here it is okay now here's the complete disk the disk is so to say right now loaded it's now a disk image but for our c64 it seems that we have inserted a disk into our disk drive okay now let's say we want to completely disk copy our drive number 8 to our drive number 9. So we press F8, so Shift F7. Copy from device 8 to device number 9. Let's have a look how long it takes. It's not the biggest one, but maybe we can see something. I'll press yes and start I think it will take a while therefore I will speed up a little bit okay now we are finished 9 minutes 15 seconds yeah, it takes a little while, <laughs> but now let's check. Now let's check. Yes, copied the complete disk. For sure, if you only want to copy some files, that's also possible. Then you say, okay, I want to copy... Um, this game here and then you can say uh, then you can say C copy file but should not be possible because the disk is already full so okay but that will work also or you have the possibility to copy more than one but you can select the files you want to copy by pressing space and then you say OK copy multiple F5 but as I said our disk is full therefore we cannot write yes that's OK but normally it works so that's all I would say now you can choose if you want to play your games directly from SD to IEC from your disk image or you can choose if you want to copy the disk image which you created on the PC um, 
to your floppy disk and yeah, load it old school from a real floppy disk. That's really cool and really nostalgic. So have a nice time, stay healthy during this time and uh, see you next time. Bye bye, your doctor 64. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Maybe we can try to load a game from the floppy disk we created right now. Loaded with Jiffy DOS, therefore it should be a little bit faster than loading in with the original kernel. By the way, if you also want to build such a power supply by your own, then have a look at my video. I will link it in the description below. Let's see. Okay, it's finished. Run. Yes, works. Come on. Double fighter. Yes. Come on, yes. <laughs>